So w when a paper comes out of UC Boulder and it's an AMO, it's like, okay. The like best they in the world have, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a guy, Frank Wilczek. He won the Nobel Prize in 2004 for discovering something called asymptotic freedom, which has to do with the ways that quarks um, behave inside the atomic nucleus. And one of the things that he proposed back in 2012 was this idea of a time crystal. Okay, so if we have things that break spatial symmetry by creating crystals in space, right, where you have clearly like carbon yes. making the diamond or NaCl making table salt. So you clearly have spatial crystals. What if I have a breaking of the time symmetry to create a time crystal? And what would that look like? What, what that would look like is you've got some kind of periodic system that returns to its original form. Mm -hmm periodically, mm. right? Mm. For the longest time, people were studying these things called discrete time crystals. And um, there were specialized quantum systems that could do this, right? There were nuclear spins, trapped ions, cold, cold atoms at extremely low temperatures, quantum weirdness. You know, it's like cool, yeah. but it's cool, yeah. but that's about it, yeah. <laughs> right? Like maybe in a hundred years, it can, it can lead to like, you know, quantum devices and things like that. This paper is very cool because it's doing it in a classical system, mm. which means no quantum weirdness. Mm -hmm. And it's doing it at room temperature. Wow. And it's doing it at a big enough scale that we can see with our naked eye. This is giving me LK99 vibes. It, yeah, but this is out of UC Boulder. Yeah, so it's legit. And so it's pretty <laughs> legit. UC Boulder has probably the best AMO department out of anywhere in the world. Okay. Okay, atomic molecular optical. Those guys, those guys do it. Let's invest in our university research institutions. Yeah, like, I mean, you know, Boulder has like the most PhDs out of any, actually, out of any city. I heard this recently. Yeah, and it, a lot of it has to do with UC Boulder. Out of UC Boulder came NIST, yep. which is the National Institute for Standards and Technology. Yes. There's a bunch of other science labs just in Boulder. UC Boulder itself has like four Nobel Prizes in physics just for AMO. Okay, like not like, okay, there's one for cosmology, one for, it's just all like in the lab making like materials, mm -hmm. right? They, they, they made the first Bose-Einstein condensate. Mm -hmm. They're the ones who figured out how to trap ions using lasers and cool them down using lasers. So they're a very good, 